good Tuesday evening, everybody. It's Tuesday, October 12th, 2021. <laughs> Almost at 22. Wow. Yep, they still let me do this show every single day. I don't know why. And I'm the manager, and I don't know why. <laughs> but here I am. It's because nobody else wants to do it on the staff. Come on. Andrew's, Andrew does pretty good. I like when Andrew gets on there. He's pretty soft-spoken, in my impression of Andrew. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Talking Pittsburgh. Soft-spoken. <laughs> You know better than that. Okay, so last night I was watching some episodes, showing my wife uh, one of the promos we did with the fire department recently. And yes. then we came across yours, and we watched yours for a little bit. <laughs> just to see, just to get a feel. Because I, when I'm gone, I don't necessarily see, you know, see what you're doing, Andrew. So right. you do a good job. Well, thank you. It's just funny. It's just very, very nice. We're, we're different, yes. You were different. You and I are, are different. Polar opposites. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's a good thing. Hey, we got a great show for you. Yes, I'm their host. Andrew will step in uh, and correct me on everything I say wrong. So we got that going. And we'll have uh, take a look uh, back. We'll talk about the hydrant flushing that's going on that continues uh, through the month. A little bit different uh, this year. We'll explain what that means uh, for you so you know what's going on out there plus we're going to talk about the clean sweep event coming up Uh, it's not the recycling event this is the clean sweep event but we'll talk about all of the cool events coming up here uh with recycling and sustainability Uh, phil on the show today his first time on talking fitchburg so uh, excited for that phil is that phil groovy yeah phil groovy all right i ain't sure when i look over i don't know where i'm like looking at you invisibly over there andrew Uh, even though you're you're back there i'm looking over there and yeah all right, let's uh, dive into this. We start with Brushing Yard Waste Collection Week, October 18th through the 22nd. And, yes, I said brush and yard waste, so make sure that you uh, be ready for this. Bra- uh, branches, you know this, limbs less than 5 feet long and less than 6 inches in diameter will be collected during the brush pickup along with yard waste. Yard waste must be bagged in a container. Actual collection dates may vary depending on the weather. Brush will be picked up between Monday and Saturday, but not necessarily on your refuse day uh, collection day, so be aware of that. To ensure pickup, please have your brush and your yard waste at the uh, curbside, 6.30 a.m. on the Monday of the collection week. If you feel like you've been missed, don't worry. You can call po- contact Pelletary, 608-257-4285 for more information. That Clean Sweep event uh, is coming up. I want to make sure you have this on the calendar. And we'll be talking about this event here a little bit later in the show. So you want to tune in for that interview. But this is happening on Saturday, October 23rd from 8 a.m. to noon in the parking lot at Market Place Drive behind Funk's Pub in Oak Bank. This is a great opportunity uh, to properly dispose of paints, household chemicals, and other hazardous household waste products that it shouldn't be placed in your garbage bin. We'll talk with Phil Groupie about this coming up in our guest segment today, so you can check that out and learn more about this event. We want to keep all that hazardous stuff out of your uh, bin, okay? Your uh, re- refuse bin. So let's uh, talk about that uh, a little bit later today. All right, adult crafts. Uh, we talked uh, with the library on Friday. I want to make sure you uh, take part in this because it's a cool-looking craft. I'm saying, like, I would love this on my desk. So Wednesday, October 13th, enjoy socializing and crafting with your fellow grown-ups at the library. Bring your own craft project or create something with the supplies provided. And they're making uh, some cool pumpkin decorations, 6.30 to 7.30 at the library in uh, the meeting room. So come on out. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it's a really cool one. If you're curious what this uh, pumpkin looks like, you can go and look at our Facebook YouTube page or the website to uh, check out that interview we had with the library, which, by the way, it's the best one of the year because it's the Halloween special one. All right, turn your attention uh, to the Fitchburg Senior Center. Still time to sign up for the virtual Mind Over Matter Healthy Bottles, Healthy Bladder Workshop. <clears throat> it's going to be on Zoom. If you uh, have issues with any of this, uh, this is the one for you. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a cough there. All right, there we go. More than half of women age 50 and older experience urine or bowel leakage. Mind Over Matter Workshop is designed to give women the tools they need to take control of their symptoms. This program is a three-session workshop for women ages 50 and older that includes information, group activities, and simple exercise you can do at home. You must attend all three sessions, Mondays, October 18th. Uh, I'm sorry, it's on Mondays, October 18th. November 1st and November 15th. So uh, if you're going to sign up for it, you got to do so. It's coming up quick. 1.30 to 3.30. The cost is just $15 and includes a work buck. So what's better than that? Online is registration will be sent to you 
check with the senior center for how you can sign up. All right, we got some changes uh, to the testing site at Park Street uh, for COVID-19 testing. It says here the rapid uh, uh, tests are uh, very low in supply in Dane County. Because of this, uh, they're making uh, the following changes at the South Park Street testing location. Rapid tests cannot be used for travel-related purposes. Rapid tests will, uh, uh, excuse me, rapid tests will be uh, prioritized for people testing to return to school. And uh, you can find out more information at the website. As far as the hours go at the clinic, uh, it's Tuesdays 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., Thursdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Wednesdays 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., except for the 20th, 17th of November and December 15th. And then Friday 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., Saturdays 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We shared the link so you can uh, find out more about the testing that they have there and uh, the hours of when they have this going on. All right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up our digest. Remember, we're talking about that flushing, the hydrant flushing that's going on. And uh, we'll explain how that works next right here on Talking Pittsburgh. <laughs> 